Travis Stevens here with Direct Pivot Parts. Today we're going to be going over the testing of a micro switch. And here would be a Ranky and Valley style micro switch. As you can see, the micro switches are what rotate the cam lower cam arm. And one control tells it to go forward and reverse. The other one is if the pivot gets out of line, it safeties it out. So we have a safety micro switch and then we have a forward reverse control micro switch. Uh, today we're going to be using a Klein meter. It's an auto meter. We sell them on our website. Very simple, very easy. Uh, they do volts, ohms, and has a built-in light automatically. It's a fairly inexpensive meter. Anyone could use it. Once you turn it on, test it together, and it will uh, automatically tell you ohms or voltage, whatever you touch it to. Uh, on the back of the micro switch, you're going to see there is a common, normally open, and normally closed. Uh, on your safety, your wires are going to be to the outside two uh, screws. And when they're open like this, when the pivot's running, it, it will be in the closed position. It will beep when we touch these to it. If it is, goes in the safety position, as it clicks, it will go into normally open. Normally open means that that circuit is open and the pivot safety circuit will not move. So your pivot is safetyed out. If you're ever there and your switch is open and it does not beep, it, that means your switch is bad and you need to replace it. Same goes with if it's on your forward reverse. If it's going in one direction, closed. If it's in that and it stays beeping, your switch is bad. Now if it's in the normally open, that's correct. Now if we do that and it doesn't, it is a failure. Uh, these switches are fairly inexpensive. We recommend changing them on a regular basis, but they're a good, easy product. They're found on our website. I hope you found this, vi this video useful, and if you guys need anything from us, uh, don't be afraid to give us a call or check out our website.